morning, Matthew. I'm uh, Mike Berkey. I'm a vice president or the vice president of uh, corporate development and a director of Sitka Gold Corp. Uh, Sitka is active in the Yukon Territory uh, with our main project, the RC Gold Project, but we also have other uh, projects, uh, the Burrow Creek Project in Arizona and the Alpha Gold Project in uh, in Nevada. So we're uh, we're a good company, diversified in metals, gold, silver, copper. We have a copper project in Nunavut as well. And uh, we are active on the RC and Alpha right now. Alpha is uh, continuing to drill. So we're, we're in uh, good uh, jurisdictions with uh, early stage uh, exploration discovery stage projects. Mike, good to see you. Um, we haven't seen you guys uh, on here since March uh, this year, so seven months away. I think at the time, 10 million market cap, you just raised 5 million bucks and you told us how you're going to spend it. So what have you been up to since we spoke? Yeah, we've, we've been spending money. We're not a bank, we're an exploration company and that's why uh, people like us, Sitka Gold has always uh, put the money into the ground. So we've uh, completed a 6,500 meter drill program at the RC Gold Project in the Yukon. Uh, we planned on up to 10,000 meters of drilling there. But when the assay results were uh, nice and slow trickling in, the same fate that everybody is, uh, is going through, uh, we decided to uh, shut that program down and wait for those assays. Uh, we're also uh, drilling on the Alpha Gold Project. That's a smaller 5,000-foot drill program down in Nevada. Uh, both those projects have made significant discoveries, we feel, and uh, that's where our focus has been. Burrow Creek in uh, Arizona, we're still waiting on our permits down there to do additional drilling, as well as up in Nunavut, we have a copper project that... Uh, Again, we're, we're waiting for those permits. Okay, well, let's, let's talk about RC. Obviously, I think that's the most most active, and I think people, you know, will look to well, the, the, some of the results that you've been putting out. You know, reason why big big intercepts around in and around the ground mark. You, you can't complain about that. So when you say you kind of slow things down, you want to get the assays back to kind of inform your targeting for the drilling. No other reason. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the most important piece of data that you generate in a, a drill program is the assay data. Uh, you know, we can we can look at the rock types and everything and uh, speculate on what the exact gold values might be. Uh, we do see visible gold in our drill course, so we're we're confident that we have some uh, good results coming out. But of course, you know, in the context of uh, defining a new discovery, you got to remember this discovery was only made at the end of 2021. So. We're only two drill projects into the RC Gold discovery. Um, so to look at the, you know, the context of this drilling, we have intersections both in the intrusive rock and uh, the surrounding meta sediments. So, you know, just quickly, RC Gold is in the Tombstone Gold Belt in the Yukon. Uh, that's the same age rocks that host uh, the Fort Knox mine in Alaska, Victoria Gold's Eagle mine in the Yukon. Uh, Banyan Gold's discovery that they're working on, Snowline Gold's discovery that they're working on. This is an extensive belt of uh, 98 million year old intrusions that stretch across Yukon and Alaska and are very prolific in their uh, gold endowment. So we've made a new discovery within those rocks and we're trying to define it and spend the money that our investors have put into our company the best way we can. Right. Okay. So you're, you're in the right, right part of the world. We're surrounded by people who are finding similar sort of stuff to you, but um, I, I need to focus on how you move your company forward. Right. So um, you, because again, with, with, with limited cash resources, you, you've got to be really smart and really accurate and efficient with how you spend your uh, capital. So let's go back to these ass assays then. So are all the assays in that are going to be in or, or how much is outstanding, you, you, you say? No, we, we did a winter drill program um, and all those assays are in. And that's where we, you know, intersected values up to 220 meters of 1.17 grams per tonne. We did a 16 hole summer drilling program and we have six of those holes back. We're still waiting for 10. We anticipate that those should be here in November, uh, that we'll, we'll receive those results and that will let us, uh, design our program, uh, for the, for the future here. We're, we're looking at a winter drilling program. When we get those results back, our property is road accessible year round. So we do have the luxury of being able to, to drill at any time of year. Um, so that's, that's our plan. Get these results back, 
do our modeling, you know, look where we need to drill and expand the uh, discovery. It's, it's also quite a nice time to take that strategy because I'm not sure the market is rewarding all drill results. Is there a little bit of that in there? Yeah, of course. I mean, nobody's happy with the markets right now, but I mean, that's an opportunity, right? You know, you got to be like, we're talking contrary investments here. You know, you have to, you have to look at, you know, when other people are afraid, you know, don't be afraid. Look at quality investments, look at things that are new. You know, we're early in the exploration stage. We, we have made a discovery. Um, but we're, we're, our plan going ahead. We've had our uh, QP into the property. We want to produce an initial resource. Uh, we're hoping we're able to do that off the back of these last 10 holes that come in. Um, so that, that's our target. Produce a resource, but then keep drilling. Uh, this new discovery is still open in every direction. So we've, we've got lots more drilling to do, but we want to do it right. Right. Okay. And, and I guess, I guess for a company of your size, you're going to want to draw parallels to what Victoria Gold are doing, you know, the Eagle Gold mine, Banyan Gold, or am I, all, all of these, these, these guys have been, you know, They've been working, they have, they started where you started, right? Um, it's a question of, you know, what, what did they, what did they do? Did they get the timing right? Are you going to be able to get the timing right and, and come out the other side of this? You talk about contrarian investing. Isn't it? That's a great idea if, if you know the company's still going to be around. So I, I, I'm kind of intrigued by how you navigate these choppy waters. So cash wise, you've been drilling and I guess therefore you'd argue you're staying in control of your own, own destiny to a point. Feels like it's kind of slowing down a little bit. Are you, is there a little bit of like managing cash and just timing this right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, you know, we did a financing earlier in the summer. We still, after our drilling costs in uh, the Yukon are paid, which they are, but we're also still drilling in Nevada. That's a smaller program, but we'll have about $3 million remaining in the bank. Um, so that lets us uh, deploy that cash in a, intelligent way like i say we're we're not a bank our investors invest in us to go find gold silver copper um that's what we're going to do you know we're not going to shut down and sit on three million dollars uh you know we're our our speculation on the price of gold is uh like everybody hopefully goes up but our strategy is, about gold is to just find more of it right and have you got any of the other kind of tools in the army in terms of some, you've got a lot of assets, right? You've got, you've got a portfolio of assets. You know, not, you're not a one hit, you know, one, one hit company yet. Yeah, you've made two discoveries. It, you know, it, it, it's quite nice actually. But at the same time, you've got to think, well, do I dilute shareholders going forward by raising more equity? That's the name of the game. I know, but are there other tools in the, in the box that you can look at? Yeah. I mean, we, we have a, a number of warrants that are outstanding. Uh, so in the, the next year, we have uh, up to $16 million. If those warrants get exercised, and they're anywhere between 13 and 25 cents. Um, so when you look at our, our uh, you know, share price during the last, uh, you know, six months, there's times when those, those warrants will get exercised. We have seen some exercised. Uh, so we may not have to go back to the markets at all. Um, but again, we still have 10 holes outstanding. And uh, hopefully we uh, we uh, get some uh, great results there, and the market rewards us for that. Right. But, uh, That's warrants. Right now, as I said, what else have you got? Yeah. What else have you got? Because warrants may come in, come come in and out here. Maybe people do exercise exercise them, but it, you you've got a number of different projects. You've got a copper project, which is a little bit topical in the sense that the thematic seems very, very strong at the moment. Every conversation seems positive about that. And you've got multiple gold projects. So are you tempted at all to kind of either spin those out, sell those, do some kind of JV? I mean, what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? You, you know, never say never. If, if uh, somebody comes along and, and offers you uh, something, these are these are all good projects. So I said the Alpha project we're drilling in Nevada right now, and that's been a very slow, methodical uh, geological model that has really paid off. We have a geologist down in Nevada, Scott Price, who uh, understands Carlin systems very well. We're just south of the gold rush mine in the Cortez Hills, um, and we've intersected you know, it's, it's a discovery. It's, you know, over uh, 10 meters of a gram and a half. 
uh, it's a concept and the concept is proving to be valid. So that's a project we think will catch a lot of attention. As I said, we're still finishing off a hole there. Burrow Creek in, in uh, Arizona, uh, that's one that we're waiting for some permits and, and it's pretty straightforward drilling program there. Um, and, and it's not too expensive. We have about a half a million dollars allocated to drilling down there uh, when we receive that permit. So, you know, we're, we're focused on advancing those projects to the stage that, uh, yeah, hopefully somebody comes along and uh, uh, wants to buy them and give us a lot of money for that and return our shareholders value. Okay. That's, that's, a, that's a maybe, maybe could be, but at least it's an option on, on, on the table. I'm sort of intrigued by uh, Nevada because there's, there's a quite a few companies who've done quite well and, and there's quite a few companies who are just, just struggling, ca- you know, cash, cash constraints. And I, I wondered if a, a roll up was on the books for some of these, you know, these Carlin type gold deposits down there. Um, cause there, there, there are, there are a few, but do you, do you think doing, doing something like a roll up down there makes sense or is it just a case of, you know, one and one equals one. Uh, no, I mean, I think really the, uh, you know, the Alpha Gold project, it, like I said, it's a, it's a geological concept and it's proven to be valid. You know, there was some unexposed stratigraphy there, you know, and we're hit, we're hitting some good numbers. So, you know, it, it's one that, that's been fairly inexpensive for us to move forward. So we're happy with that. Right. Okay. And, uh, Okay, so so but I better stick with RC. Let's let's finish RC RC off um, um, properly. So with the guts to, um, I know you were just going to sit back and wait for these assays to come in. You'd expect those to be in. Sorry, I think you said the, the side of Christmas. November. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so that's good. Does that mean you're kind of rush into um, that analysis and rush into uh, you know you know identifying targets and going back out and drilling, or again, is it just a case of just saying, well, actually? If we're not going to get credit in the market for these numbers now, we will sort of saunter into the new year and, and then maybe talk about where we where we go. Yeah, we'll be able to take all that new data, that 16 drill holes, put it into our geological model, have a good look at, uh, you know, doing an initial resource on it and designing our next phase of drilling. There's also on the old RC Gold project, there's... You know, we're focused on the blackjack zone. Um, you know, as we move east and west from that, we've had intersections in the saddle, which is a kilometer to the east. And also the Iger zone was where the, some of the initial drilling was done in 2020. That's a further one kilometer to the east. So we have a, a lot of targets. We're focused on the blackjack, obviously, because it, you know, had the longest and highest grade intersects. But the Iger, for instance, has plenty of intercepts that are well in the range of uh, what they're mining at uh, Victoria Gold's Eagle Deposit and what Banyan Gold is intersecting. So we really have to, you know, look at the overall project and where we're going to deploy those uh, those drilling uh, dollars and certainly focus in on the blackjack. So will we rush into it um, if the markets say rush into this? You know, markets are picking up, which they're going to do eventually. We get in there and we feed the market. Um, if the market is uh, saying slow down, be methodical, then maybe we wait and we drill a little bit later, starting in the spring instead of the winter. The drillers might appreciate that, but uh, it's the market that's our that's our first priority. Drillers drillers don't like drilling in the winter, but they'll do it. They got to they got to work in the winter too. Right. Okay. The market is your mistress for sure. Um, so, okay. So our, our seat's fine. You're sitting waiting. So all holes are in, uh, waiting for our say, right? So there's nothing, there's nothing that hasn't gone to the labs yet, right? So that's clear. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so, so RC, great. Um, Alpha, you've explained what you're doing. Burrow Creek, you're waiting for drill permits. So not much happening. Is there anything that you, you need to tell us in terms of the, Thinking with Burr Creek and how you come at that, because obviously you've got some sense of what, what what's in what's in the ground there. But um, have you got a plan? As soon as you get those permits, you're you're off and running at the races, or again, as a case of wait and see what the best allocation of capital is. Uh, no, we've we've allocated half a million dollars for Burr Creek. Uh, it's a it's a nice, easy road accessible project to get into. It has a historical resource on it. You know, 120,000 ounces of gold and 5 million ounces of silver. 
So, but that drilling has only occurred on the patented uh, claims on the project. We stake some additional claims, and that's why we're waiting for that uh, the permit from the BLM. Now, we estimate about 10% of the you know potential deposit has been drilled. So that there's a lot of potential at Burrow Creek. That was the first project that Sitka Gold, um, you know, listed on, and which many people, many of our investors were excited about. Um, we did uh, additional bit of drilling within those patented claims, you know, then looked at the extension of it, got the rest of those claims, and now we've been tied up in that waiting for permits. And there's no issues with the permit. Um, it's just been a slow process. There's been public hearings and all that stuff. So it's just waiting for the last little bit of paperwork to get done. Are you obliged to do all of the above? Because again, it's just, it's just coming back to the mentality. It is kind of like, a, you know, wartime thinking, the sense of you, you, you've got to be so careful, you know, how you allocate this capital and, you know, you've got to be still in the game to play the game. You've got to be at the table to play the, you know, all those lovely analogies of, you know, it, it, it's a, so it's kind of a sub, survival mode for a lot of companies, certainly some of the smaller companies. So, are you obliged to spend that money at Burr Creek? Or is it a question you think, well, actually, let's, let's spread and mitigate the expiration risk because we're not quite sure if we continue to deliver these big wide intercepts at a you know, perfectly reasonable in and around a gram uh, mark in the Yukon, we, we're not going to get rewarded for that. So how do you work out what you're going to get rewarded for? Because if you look at the Yukon, there's a lot of companies, you've named a bunch of them already, who've got, did quite well with grades lower than yours. Um, and you think, well, they have been rewarded. Or, or, you know, maybe in slightly different times, where they continue to be rewarded for that. So how do you do this risk mitigation analysis that you've got to do at board level when, you, when you're doling out the dollars? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a difficult one to navigate, you know, because you do get people saying, well, boy, you should just focus on this RC gold discovery. But as I said, we have investors that invested in our company because they believe in the Nevada story, that believe in the Arizona story. Our holding costs on these projects are, are nice and low. Uh, we don't have big work commitments. We don't have big uh, payments on them. So we're not in the, you know, we're, we're not risk where we need to get in there and spend a bunch of money. Otherwise, we're going to lose some key projects. So it's it's really a matter of us looking where those dollars are best deployed. And and so that's where we think, especially the Borough Creek Alpha and the RC Gold Project. RC is obviously our flagship property where, you know, the bulk of our expenditures is going to go into. Um, but we feel it's, it's money well spent to uh, look at... Uh, advancing our other projects uh, in, a, in a slower, more methodical way. But still, I think that's money well spent. Those are pretty prime jurisdictions. And there's a relatively cheap expiration cost to really expanding the potential on those other projects. So, you know, all, all our projects are at that discovery stage. So you can, you can deploy, you know, not a lot of money not a lot of money to get a pretty high return. And how do you define a, a discovery? Because you, you're talking about two discoveries. A lot, a lot of exploration journalists go through their whole careers not having made one discovery. So yeah, how, how are you defining that? Because it's it's a kind of it's a it's a really big deal if it you know but, you know it comes to bear. And sometimes discovery should be labelled as such after you know after the economic studies come out because it's it's so it's so hard to get clarity on that between companies yeah you have to have potentially ore grade mineralization and drill holes right so you know when we look at rc gold um we can compare i mean we've got a direct comparison with victoria gold and the eagle mine these two occurrences the rc gold and the eagle deposit are twin sisters i've been to them both you could hold rocks from either one you could put a blindfold on me and have me take it off and i wouldn't be able to tell where i was as long as i was looking straight ahead so the geological model is quite clear and the intersects that we've been getting and drilling are clearly you know above the mineable grade uh huge number of intersects that are above the cutoff that they're mining at Victoria Gold, same with Fort Knox in Alaska. Um, so that's that's a clear discovery. Alpha Gold, we feel that's a discovery because this is a brand new 
area south of Cortez Hills that uh, Scott Price, this geologist that we have in Nevada, you know, identified as being unexplored for Carlin style deposits. He identified an uplifted part of stratigraphy that's the same stratigraphy that hosts the Cortez Hills deposits. So we went in there, we've been slowly drilling to define the stratigraphy, some of the structures, and we've hit gold mineralization. And that, you know, it's it's not one ounce Carlin style, uh, you know, grades, but we've hit significant gold mineralization over decent thicknesses. So we've we've made a discovery of Carlin style uh, mineralization in an area that that nobody else has or has targeted before. Um, you know, hopefully one of our we're still drilling there. We're on our last drill hole, and uh, you know, hope, hopefully the last two holes. We have two holes that are in the lab. The one that's being drilled as well as the previous hole, hole 11 and 12, and uh, looking forward to getting the results for those. Okay, okay. So it's got to be in drilling. You got to you got to make a discovery in drilling. It's got to be legitimate. It does. It does. And it's surprising how often it isn't. Um, in, in your case, like you sound like you're busy get busy getting on with this. You, you you've got a plan. Um, and it's and it's all about the drill bit um, and, and what that returns for you. Um, so gold, silver, good. Um, can we talk about the, the 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 copper mine project? I know not a lot sort of ha- happening there, and it's you know early days, etc. But you know th- there's a little bit of history up there, um, and you know I'm just intrigued where it, you know where does it, does it fit into the portfolio naturally? Or again, is this something that if someone comes along? Because it's you know topical, the thematic is strong. That you would think about offloading, or how, how do you, again, how do you play this? Because you need money. You need to throw money at that. Yeah. Well, like I say, right? You know, it's if if someone came along and uh, you know really made a, a a good offer, we wouldn't be adverse to that. You'd be foolish, right? Um, but it's a very early stage project. That one. Um, they're you know. Porco and Don Penner, our president and CEO, they were involved in an earlier project that they did sell. So the company has a history of spinning out assets up there. Um, so it's a it's an early stage, really high grade sediment hosted copper story again that uh, could be uh, fairly easy to, you know, make make some sort of discovery on. Again, we've been waiting for permits. It's been in the company uh, for from the start. Um, so it's, it's one that we haven't expended a lot of dollars on yet. Um, but again, it's not going to take much to potentially make a discovery. But of course, if there's, if there's somebody out there that's, uh, keen on that style of, uh, deposit that we're targeting there in the model, we'd be, uh, we, we'd always be open to a, to a good solid offer. I'm sure. Right. No, nobody's going to turn that away. No, turning money away. Absolutely not. Um, my, I <laughs> appreciate you yeah, coming exactly. on and giving us that update. Um, look, I think last time we did a sort of technical session. This is a bit more about kind of corporately and at board level how you think about managing these markets because, you know, as I joke, the markets are, are your mistress. It, it it is as important your strategy as sort of you know what's coming out the ground at the moment because I think there's a lot of companies like struggling to find their way and struggling to you know how to interpret how they should move the company forward. But um, no, appreciate your time today. Good luck with um, the assays when they come back. I hope they go your way. Um, stay in touch and let us know how you get on, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're excited about what's going on. Like I say, the markets are what they are, but, you know, we're, we're an exploration company. We want to be smart with the money that investors, you know, give to us. Um, but we're, we're not a bank. We're not going to sit on this money. We're, we have a bunch of very good projects. Um, we're... We're good at spending the money. We're not uh, foolish and extravagant. So, you know, we're, um, that, that's where I think we're contrarian. We're going to, you know, people going to give us money to uh, spend it, put in the ground and make discoveries. And that's where we're going to see the value return to shareholders. So we're really looking forward to doing that.